hello, hello, and namaste, my kings and queens. This is Lady Dream, and I'm back at you with another video. Today, I will be talking to you guys about what supplements and medications that I take with my Hashimoto's to help me, and that may just help you. But first, disclaimer. I am not a healthcare provider, I am not a healthcare professional, and I am not a doctor. <laughs> That's just not my lane, okay? So, I need you guys to consult with your doctors first, get the right testing and protocols, and then once your results come back, I need you guys to sit down with your doctors to figure out and even suggest to them what medications may or may not be right for you, alright? So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get to this video. Welcome, welcome. Subscribe, 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 y'all, okay? Be part of the Lady Dream Team. You feel what I'm saying? Become a hockey babe, just like me, all right? And if you guys are not new to the channel and you guys are just seeing this video, welcome back, everybody. So, without further ado, let's get into this video. The first medication that I do take that you guys are probably going to look at me like, listen, Lady Dream, really? You're really about to tell me that you are just on this medication? Yes. I do take an allergy pill for helping me with my Hashimoto's. Reason being is because I have what you call chronic urticaria, which is also known as spontaneous hives. Now, with spontaneous hives, like usually when you get hives, you get it normally when you have an allergic reaction to like seasonal allergies or food or what have you. But for people with Hashimoto's, we get what is called chronic urticaria, which is spontaneous hives, and we get them for no reason at any time at any given moment. And I also suffer from um, some form of angioedema, which is swelling of my face and my lips. If you guys have not seen my story time as to when I found out I had Hashimoto's, you guys need to go look at that because there are detailed pictures of what my face looks like having Hashimoto's. It's it being swollen and me having hives, okay? And it will pretty much explain everything to you on what that is. So the first medication I take is Cetirizine, which is a generic brand of Zyrtec and it looks like this I take the CVS brand and reason being is because the name brands when I tell you they're expensive they are really expensive like the name brand Zyrtec is expensive over the shelf when you try to get them in um in a bulk size so this one comes with 365 capsules I did pay a pretty penny for this I don't want to say that big of a penny but I did pay a grip of a penny for this um, I think when I purchased this, it was like 30 something. This is 10 milligrams of the Cetirizine tablet, and it's an antihistamine. Reason being is because with spontaneous hives or chronic urticaria, what they don't tell you is, is that our body through Hashimoto's, what causes it is our body gives off too much histamine. And when it pumps out too much histamine, it makes our immune system go wild and it gives us these spontaneous hives. So it's good to have an antihistamine to pair with it. So like I said, this is a CVS brand and it's a terazine. And I take two of these a day, okay? And another medication, which is also a supplement that I pair with this, when I get ready to exercise that brings on my spontaneous hives, okay, is Quercetin which is the second one. The question that I take is made through pure encapsulation. And what it is, is it supports cardiometabolic cellular and immune health. It's gluten-free and it's non-GMO and it's hypoallergenic. It is a dietary supplement. It has 120 capsules. It also has the ingredients of hypoallergenic plant fiber, which is cellulose, vegetarian capsule, which is made of cellulose and water, okay? I take two of these a day along with my cetirizine which I take two of these as well with it. It helps calm down the high so this way I can exercise comfortably because I know some of y'all out there be doing that crazy ass P90X, excuse my friends, but you guys do do P90X and all that and all that cardio and running. I do yoga as a choice. It's more of a calming exercise and you're not doing too much. I don't know, I got told that I should do P90X by some of my friends and I'm like, hell no, I'm not doing P90X, you're bugging, what? It looks crazy when they do all this motion. I can't do that. I'm sorry. That's too much. All right? Too much. So, the third thing that I take, which is a supplement, is magnesium. 
reason why I am on magnesium is because when I went to my alternative doctor, or should I say, you know, we did the video calling thing because I do my business through Zoom now that we're in this crazy time of COVID, okay? I did some labs that she sent me for. And when she got back my lab, my lab came back with a very, 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 very low magnesium count, okay? So she recommended me to go on a magnesium supplement, which is why I told y'all in the beginning, through the disclaimer, that you guys should consult with your doctor first before putting yourself on any supplements or anything, because your labs are going to tell you exactly what needs to be assessed, and it could steer you in the right direction of what medications you should or should not take, or how many milligrams you can or cannot take. So this is the magnesium that I'm on. It's called Magnesium Select. There you go, cleared up. Call Magnesium Select through Moss Nutrition, and I get these from my doctor. I buy these from my doctor, as well as my Questitin. My Questitin and my Magnesium Select, I buy from my doctor. My Magnesium Select, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it was $53 through my doctor, but I'm pretty sure you could find another Magnesium Supplement that is a little cheaper on the cheaper side and still get your Magnesium, okay? You can find supplements on Amazon, believe it or not. The dietary supplement has 100 vegetarian capsules, and it is made of hypromelose capsules. It is made of microcrystalline cellulose, silicon dioxide, and vegetable syrup. And it does not contain gluten. Now, I'm going to tell you guys something. Whenever you guys look for medications or supplements, you guys need to look at the ingredients list. Reason why I say this is because there are some supplements that do carry gluten, soy, and dairy in it. And the last thing you need, if you have a dairy intolerance or if you have a gluten intolerance or a soy intolerance, the last thing you need is to be taking a supplement and all of a sudden it just don't agree with you and you have a reaction and you have a flare up. So it is very important for you guys to look at your ingredients list, okay? It is very important. I cannot stress it enough. The suggested use for this is one capsule per day or as directed by your healthcare professional. I take the magnesium supplement three times a day. And the reason why I take it three times a day is like I told y'all, my magnesium came back extremely, extremely, extremely low. And it's not my words, it's my doctor's words that she's used with me. So this is why I take three capsules a day in the magnesium, okay? So that's that. Another supplement that I wanna introduce to y'all it is always great if you guys have irritable bowel syndrome or digestive issues or leaky gut with your Hashimoto's, it is always best to put yourself on a probiotic, okay? And a probiotic does wonder for your digestive system. It saves you a lot of time from going to the hospital with those abdominal pains like I have, okay? And it saves you a lot of procedure with your colonoscopy or whatever it is if you put yourself on a probiotic, okay? But don't put yourself on it. Consult your doctor first. Okay, so I consulted my doctor and asked her if a probiotic may just be right for me for my irritable bowel syndrome that I have with my Hashimoto's, and she agreed. So one of the supplements that I was once on, and the only reason why I'm not on it anymore is because it's expensive, y'all, okay? It is expensive. I think it's like $58 for my bottle through my doctor, and I just cannot afford that every month, all right? So I just looked for a cheaper alternative that was right for me. And that was also suggested in my book from Isabella Wentz for your digestive tract, okay? So one of the medications that I think is great and works wonders with bloating and digestive issues is Megaspore Biotic, okay? So the bottle looks like this, all right? And it's made by Microbiome Labs. And it's a probiotic supplement. It comes with 60 capsules. It's a proprietary probiotic blend. It has 340 milligrams. It's 4 billion CFU. It is made of cellulose and vegetable capsule, which is cellulose and water. It survives digestion and it's DNA verified. So you guys could also look for this at Amazon. It doesn't have to just come from a doctor. They do have this supplement on Amazon. And I could put the link down below if you guys are looking for that. Another one that I decided to switch to that is a lot cheaper on the penny is Cura Pro RX Saccharomyces Borlardi, which is S. Borlardi. And it's 10 Bs and it is a patent and clinically studied strain. It promotes digestion and gut health. And it's an antibiotic and stomach acid resistant and it's lactose free, guys. 
okay? It's professional grade dietary supplement and it comes with 120 delayed release vegetable capsules. It comes with a lot more capsules, and it looks like this by the way. You can find different brands of the Espolardi, but I like this one. And it comes with more capsules than the Mega Spore Biotic does. Because the Mega Spore Biotic comes with 50 capsules. This one comes with 120, okay? And it's non-GMO, just to let you know. It's non-genetically modified. It's an acid-resistant capsule. And it comes with 10 billion CFUs. It comes with more CFUs than the Mega Spore Biotic, okay? So this one, I take two a day. I take two a day along with my allergy medication. And it really does wonders. It takes away the bloating, the discomfort when you go. It is also lactose free. It is also dairy free, okay guys? It is really important for you guys. Like I said, I cannot stress this enough through the video. It is very important for you guys to look at ingredients, okay? Learn your intolerances. Another medication that I'm on, is called low dose naltrexone. Now, I want to warn you guys, if your medical professional tells you about low dose naltrexone, you will not get this from a regular pharmacy. You're not gonna find it at CVS, you're not gonna find it at Walgreens, and you're not gonna find it at any other pharmacy. It kinda is a pharmaceutical drug, but it's not a mainstream pharmaceutical drug, okay? It's called low dose naltrexone, and it's gonna look like this in this bottle here. Scratch this. It's gonna, look, it's gonna come in a pharmaceutical bottle, I take one capsule a day before bedtime and it's for Hashimoto's period. It's not just for my eyes, it's not for that. The question is, and it's three milligrams, so it's called low dose naltrexone. And it's considered an anti-inflammatory and they did trials on this. And they noticed that it really helps people with Hashimoto's and it also helps people with multiple sclerosis and other autoimmune diseases. So it's considered anti-inflammatory. Pretty much, it really does help, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. You should contact your healthcare provider to see if low dose naltrexone is right for you. And like I said, you're not gonna find it at a regular mainstream pharmacy. Most likely, your low dose naltrexone is going to be found at a compound pharmacy, okay? It is not gonna be found at no mainstream pharmaceutical. It's not gonna be found at CVS or Walgreens. So don't even think about looking for that there. And the last but not least thing that I do add to my medication list, and I did this myself, and I did consult with my doctor about it, but I did this myself. It is called Root Collagy. It's a paleo protein powder. It's a natural vanilla flavor, okay? It is 1.8 pounds, and it's a dietary supplement. So the, the container looks like this. And this is a line through Isabella Wentz. Isabella Wentz does have her own supplemental line, okay? It is made with natural flavors, tapioca dextrin, medium chain triglyceride, certified organic stevia leaf extract powder, and silicone dioxide. Now, for those that don't know what stevia leaf is, it is a sweetener. So, people with Hashimoto's need to know that our sweeteners, we should be using stevia. Okay, we cannot use regular sugar like most people. No, we cannot do that. Okay, so you should be using stevia leaf or a stevia sweetener. Recommended use a mix of 27 grams, which is one scoop, and it does come with a scooper, guys. Okay, you should put this in eight ounces of water or any other beverage per day, or as directed by your healthcare practitioner. Use a blender or shaker bottle and shake or mix well. For best blending results, liquid should be at a room temperature. It is made of hydro beef, which is highly concentrated pure bone broth protein isolate, produced through an exclusive hydrolysis and an ultra filtration process. The proprietary process begins with beef from animals raised in Sweden without hormones, whose diets are free of any GMO grains, grasses, hay, or insulin, if I'm pronouncing that right. The process allows the protein to be hydrolyzed into a higher concentration of functional peptides. It is made of pure protein, which is over 97% protein. Proprietary process yields more peptides for easier assimilation. High protein nitrogen score of 101.5. There are no allergens, and it's tested free of hormones and antibiotics, okay? This protein is perfect for those who want a true paleo protein source, wants the power of beef to build muscle, cartilage, and ligaments, and are dairy sensitive. So guys, this is dairy free and this is non-GMO, okay? So 
Anytime you guys look for a protein powder or if you guys are exercising and want a source of protein, you guys need to look for your protein to have no gluten in it, no dairy, and no soy, okay? And you guys want a natural sweetener like stevia in your protein powder. You guys need to be safe with this, okay? So I use this and what I do is I add this to almond milk and mangoes. So I make an almond milk mango smoothie and I like to add the almond milk vanilla because it brings out more of the vanilla flavor in it. And I don't like to use this with water because I think it's nasty and it's disgusting. So don't, please. If you guys prefer to use water that's great and all, great for your taste buds. But me, I don't do it with water. I'm sorry, I think that's so disgusting. Last but not least, I know I said this was last, but I totally forgot about this. So what I like to do is I like to also add my vitamin D3, K2 drops, which is what I also take. I also have a very, very extremely, extremely, extremely low vitamin D count also, okay? I lack vitamin D. And for those Wahashimoto's, it's very common for us Wahashimoto's to lack vitamin D. So she also put me on, which is my doctor, my alternative doctor. She added me on with vitamin D3, K2 drops which looks like this. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get you guys to see this. Ugh, I don't like this lighting. Okay, oh, there we go. So it's liquid vitamin D3 K2 drops and it's a dietary supplement. And what I do is I add five drops of this with my paleo protein smoothie. So this way I can get my vitamin D as well. And the reason why I take five drops, originally I was on four drops by my doctor. But the reason why I'm on five is because my levels were extremely low by the time she got my labs back. So it was requested for me to have five drops a day. So this way I could get my count up, okay? I will be doing more supplements and I will be buying more supplements to add along with my Hashimoto's and I will be doing some unboxings of it. So this way you guys know what they look like and everything else. And I will be putting all of the supplements that you've seen in this video today down in the description box below. And I want you guys to consult with your doctors about what's right for you first. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, okay? I want you to like, share, subscribe to the channel, and become a part of the Lady Dream Team. You know what I'm saying? Become a hockey baby, okay? So, I love you guys. Take care of yourself. I wish you nothing but love, peace, and positivity. And like I said, like, share, subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. This way you are notified for when my videos are available. All right? I love you guys. Talk to you guys soon. Namaste. Bye.